shootings and gang violence have grown exponentially in recent years. Abbotsford police say the gang problem has more than doubled in five years. We are not having any success on marijuana prohibition in Canada. My mother said to me uh, when I was very, very young, to do the right thing, not the popular thing. It's very difficult for police officers to come out and say that the war on drugs has been a failure. From day one in the academy, we were taught as police officers that the way to deal with problems is to arrest people and put people in jail. And even myself as a young officer starting in 1979 believed that we could arrest our way out of this particular problem. But over the years, as I went forward in my law enforcement career, um, I realized that years and years and years of spending money on enforcing prohibition for drugs uh, has been a failure. And that is the feeling with many, many police leaders, but they publicly will not say it until they leave policing because the culture will eat you up. And I have experienced this. They labeled me as not being one of them, as being an advocate for the drug user. Drug dealers are regulating marijuana right now. It's easier for our youth right now to go out and buy marijuana than it is to purchase alcohol and cigarettes. We need to start thinking long term. Number one is dealing with the issue of marijuana and ending prohibition and taxing the revenue that can come from marijuana. There is absolutely no way we will deal with our drug problems, with our current policies, simply because there is far too much money to be made selling illicit drugs in this world. When I was a commanding officer of the drug unit, we had record-breaking interdiction uh, of drugs here in uh, Vancouver. We had record-breaking arrests. And we quickly realized that it did not make one iota of difference and the price did not change by one cent and we found an increase in violence simply because the void has to be filled. People will get involved in the trade to make a lot of money because it is still illegal. The great demand for marijuana produced in British Columbia is the United States. So if the gangs can get their product to the United States, they can use that money to purchase cocaine to bring it back here into BC to even triple their profits. It's criminal organizations that are benefiting from uh, the prohibition of drugs, especially the prohibition of marijuana here in British Columbia. The gang situation in Metro Vancouver is very, very serious. And we've had an excess of 300 people killed uh, based on this uh, uh, prohibition of marijuana and the fact that they're getting involved in it to make some easy money. And uh, they're not going to think twice about uh, taking out someone in order for them to make more of a profit. If we continue with our current drug policies in Canada, we will have an increasing rate of gang violence in our communities. I'm in the political world right now. The hypocrisy is rampant. We as citizens of Canada need to stand up and advocate for contemporary drug policies. Let's end marijuana prohibition. Let's stop the violence that's taking place here in British Columbia. Let's end it now by ending prohibition. <laughs>